Electricity expected to be fully restored this September in hurricane-torn Abaco. Officials of Bahamas Power and Light updating the media on its restoration efforts post-Hurricane Dorian during a virtual press conference on Tuesday. Chief Operating Officer Ian Pratt says some $30 million have been spent on restoration efforts so far. Pratt also revealing that 3,000 meters in Abaco have been returned to service. But as you can see, communities such as Cherokee, Mars Island, um, Crossing Rocks, or Casarina Park, mostly in the south of Abaco, as well as up in Blackwood, would have had more meters now than before um, the storm event. Uh, on the flip side of that, where there was, a, there was a lot of damage done, both to our infrastructure and to customers' homes, um, down towards the central portion of Abaco, uh, we have a, and once again, this is where we're, the larger communities are, uh, we would have far less customers connected to the system. Um, even though this can be somewhat misleading just because an area like Murphytown, for example, where all of Forest Drive is back on supply, uh, we only have two customers connected. Um, persons still fixing the houses, needing to get inspections done from the Ministry of Works, etc. Pratt also providing an update on when power will be re fully restored to the island of Abaco. Working in East Bay Street, Pelican Shores, Little Orchard, um, which, go, which we're going to bring on towards the end of the week. Uh, work in Murphy Town and on Guanaki. Uh, we should be able to bring back by early August. Uh, in Treasure Key, and the reason why that one has two dates is because we have areas to the north of Treasure Key and to the south of Treasure Key. And so between the 9th and the 16th of August, the intention is to have those areas restored. Um, government subdivision uh, on the 9th, Dundastown on the 16th, and Leisure League, Coral Island, and those areas between Marshall and Cooperstown in September.